episode of Months of Music, I'm going to talk about how you play a song called Sugar High. And we're going to start off on our G major chord. Now, normally you do this first finger on the A second, second finger on the low E third, and third finger on the high E third. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and it sounds really happy. Now you may also want to dig on putting the third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third, not working out for your G major. Or if you really want to pump this out, um, you can use a G5 power chord. By doing first finger on the Louis third, third finger on the A fifth fret, kind of working just the E and the A string, and actually to kind of make just the G five power chord. And then from the G, we'd be going to a D major chord. And normally you do this first finger on the G second, second finger on the high E second, and third finger on the B string third. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, ah, oh, the beautiful sounds of D major. Now you may also dig on lifting off the second finger, making that a D sus two. Or you could add in the pinky on the high E third for D suspended to kind of say some stuff around the D. Or you may dig on just a D5 power chord by doing the open D in the G string second fret. Or you could do this fifth fret on the A string, third finger on the seventh fret on the D. And then we're just A in the D string for a D5. And then from the D, we'd be going to an E minor chord. Normally you do this first finger on the A second, second finger on the D second. And if you strum all those together, ah, oh, the sad sounds of E minor. Now, you may also dig on adding in third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third, kind of making that an E minor seven. Or if you're digging on the power chord idea, you can do an E five on just the E and the A string of that chord. Or you may dig on going to seventh fret on the A, third finger on the ninth fret on the D, and kind of working that with the open E for an E five power chord. And then from the E, we'd be going to a C major chord. And normally you do that first finger on the B first fret, second finger on the D second, third finger on the A third. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now you may also dig on lifting off the first finger and add a C major seven. Or you can add in the pinky on the B third for a C major nine and kind of say some stuff around it. Or another way to play C major nine. We'll be doing first finger on the D second, second finger on the A third, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. If you kind of strum the A string to the high E string, that sounds a C major nine and sounds really, really happy. Or if you're digging on the power chord idea, you may want to do first finger on the A third fret, third finger on the D fifth fret for a C five power chord. And especially on the intro, it's just kind of this big hit idea. You may want to think about using the power chord. It's kind of G five with a big down, and you may want to kind of kill the strings. And then a D five, and then an E five, and then on the C, there's normally this build up, and you may want to think down up, down up, down up, down up. We've got four down ups. And then we kind of repeat that G. D, E, C, kind of working it that way. And then from that intro, we'd be going into our main verse idea. And it's really that same progression. Now, there's a couple different ways you may want to think about strumming through this, though, depending on how fast you are. Um, on the, one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4 4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up, which would be really fast paced for this tune. But if we just took the G and just tried that a little bit, just kind of warm up a little bit. Yeah, down, down, up, up, down. also dig on just the down up down up down up down up kind of taking that C idea and applying it to all the chords actually kind of G. So we tried that through the verse that way you'd have the G D So if it seems like, whoa, man, this is way too fast for me, what, what you may want to do is just take half of the strum pattern, just the down, down, up, and try and kind of keep up with the recording that way. So you could kind of work a D, down, up, D. that four times for our main verse and then we go into our pre-chorus part and on our pre-chorus we start on the D major and we do another D and you may want to 
gonna try just downs actually, that could be cool too. Kind of a D, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. D, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, C. Should be really, really fast for the tune. Or even just a four down count. D, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, kind of an idea. Or you may kind of dig on kind of that, that really slow pace, kind of that down, down up on each chord. Down, down, up, up, down, up for the down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Kind of an idea. And then from that pre chorus, then we're going into our main chorus part, which is kind of just like our verse. So we got our G. From there, then we go into our next verse. Now, one other thing I think about adding to the song though is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, or the down, down, up, kind of working the half pattern, you could add in a bass note for the chord. So on the G, you'd have the low E for the bass. Bass, down, up, up, down. On the D, you'd have a D for the bass. On the E minor, you'd have low E for the bass. And on the C, you'd have an A for the bass. So especially if you're just starting out, you may want to try just a bass down up just to get used to that. Kind of G, down, up, D, down, up, D minor, down, up, C, down, up, G, down, up, D, down, up, D minor, C. Or if you're quick enough, you can kind of get that whole pattern in there. D, D minor, C, D, D minor, C. And we repeat that four times for our verse, and we go back into our pre chorus part. Try that, you can do that that slow pace with the basses. Down, D, down, 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 C, down, C, down. Or if you're quick enough, you kind of work that whole pattern. C, C. And from there, then we're going into our next chorus. You can do that any of those ways we've been talking about. So kind of G. Is our pre chorus. So our D, D, C, C, D, C, C. From there, then we go into a little piece of our intro. So we're kind of back to our hits. Kind of a G, D, E, C, D, E, C. From there, then we go into our next verse. You may want to take that that four down up count actually, and and kind of try adding in basses to that too. You could work it as a bass up, down, up, down, up, down, up kind of an idea. So we try our next verse that way. We got the G. of how you can strum through sugar highs. Good luck!
wherever you are in YouTube land. This is Munson Summer with Munson Music Live, Munson Guitar Songs, Munson Covers, and Munson Jam Tracks. Thanking you for watching this video, and I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you like this video and subscribe to the channel to see lots more like it. I'm always open to your requests. If you have the song that you love, please let me know so I can write it down on the request list so I can add that to it because there are probably other people out there who love that song too and would love to learn how to play it. So. Thanks so much for all the love that you give me, and I hope that you're doing well and, and kind of figuring out how you can talk with the, the instrument. Um, we are a small music shop in the middle of nowhere in South Carolina, and, and you're supporting us by, by watching this channel. Really appreciate all that love. So best of luck, and I, I, let me know if there's anything that I can do to help you in, in particular, too. Uh, you can contact me on Facebook. Um, you can leave a message here in the comments section and I'm, I, I respond to all the comments that, that I get. So best of luck to you wherever you are.